Graph of a golden section method. First, let us draw a Cartesian plane. The vertical axis is the f of x. The horizontal axis is the x. Let us draw the graph of a golden section. This point, we can call this as the extremum. Extremum, it is the maximum or the minimum of a mathematical function. In this graph, let us choose three points. The x lower, x sub 1, and x upper. We can locate x lower in this point. And x upper is in this point. f of x lower is in this point. And f of x upper is in this point. x sub 1 is near in the x upper. And we can locate f of x sub 1 here. As shown in the figure, we choose three points. The x lower, x sub 1, and the x upper. Where x sub 1 is greater than x lower and x upper is greater than x sub 1 along the ax x axis with corresponding values with of the function f of x sub 1, f of x lower and f of x upper. Since f of x sub 1 is greater than f of x lower and f of x sub 1 is greater than x upper, the maximum must lie between x lower and x upper from x lower and x upper the maximum now the fourth point is denoted as x sub 2 uh, it, and it is chosen to between the larger of the two intervals of x lower and x sub 1 Let us derive the formula to get x sub 1 and x sub 2. From x lower to x upper is the total length of interval. And we can denote as L sub T or the total length. From X lower to X sub 1 is L sub 1.
from x sub 1 to x upper is L sub 2. From this, we can determine some equation that we can use in determining the formula for x sub 1 and x sub 2. For L, LT, LT is equal to x upper minus x lower. And for L sub 1, for L sub 1, it is equal to X sub 1 minus X sub L, or the X lower. And for L2, L2 is equal to X upper minus X sub 1. For this point, We can say that this is also L sub 2 to get X sub 2. So we can say that L sub 2 is equal to X sub 2 minus X lower and we can derive this to get X sub 2 by transposing X lower to the left. This is also the same on what I've said before. Yeah, we can use this for equation to solve, to, uh, to derive the equation to get x sub 1 and x sub 2. By ratio to solve for x sub 1, L total over L sub 1 is equal to L sub 1 over L sub 2, where L total is equal to L sub 1 plus L sub 2. Because the sum of L sub 1 and L sub 2 is the total length of the interval. Now, substitute L total L1 plus L2 over L1 is equal to L1 over L2. By simplifying the fraction, L1 over L1 plus L2 over L1 is equal to L1 over L2. L1 over L1 is equal to 1 plus L2 over L1 equals L1 over L2. Dividing both sides by L1 and L2 We will get the reciprocal of L1 and L2 multiplied by 1 plus L2 over L1. Equals L1 over L2 divided by L1 over L2 is equal to 1. Because L1 over L2 reciprocal of L1 and L2 L2 over L1 we can cancel this and this is equal to 1 and we can cancel also this and it is equal to 1 so 1 times 1 is equal to 1 that's why the remaining value here is equal to 1 distribute L2 over L1 L2 over L1 times 1 
is equal to L2 over L1 plus L2 times uh, L2 over L1 multiplied by L2 over L1 it is equal to L2 over L1 square and it's equal to 1 equating the whole to 0 to get equation and the result is a quadratic equation L sub 2 over L sub 1 square plus L sub 2 over L sub 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. This is an quadratic equation. We can solve L sub 2 over L sub 1 using the positive root of a quadratic equation. The formula for a quadratic equation is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We will use this equation to get L sub 2 over L sub 1 where a where a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 1. Just imagine that L sub 2 and over L sub 1 is x and there's imaginary number here and this is 1 the value of a and and there's a 1 also here, the value of b, and negative 1, the value of c. By substituting all the values to the quadratic formula, L sub 2 over L sub 1 is equal to negative, the value of b is 1, plus, as I've said before, uh, we only need the positive root of the quadratic equation so we do not need to solve for the negative root for b squared 1 squared minus the value of a is 1 multiply with the value of c negative 1 all over 2, the value of a is equal to 1, so negative 1 plus 1 squared is equal, is equal to 1, negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to positive 4, 2 times 1 is equal to 2, uh, so L sub 2 over L sub 1 is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 from the ratio L total over L sub 1 is equal to L sub 1 over over L sub 2 getting the reciprocal L sub 1 over LT is equal to L 2 over L sub 1 where L2 over L sub 1 is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 and LT is equal to X upper minus X lower substituting L1 over LT which is equal to X upper minus X lower 
equal square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2. Multiply square root of 5 minus 1 to x upper minus x lower. L sub 1 is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 multiplied by x upper minus x lower. Uh, where L sub 1 is equal to x sub 1 minus x lower. Substituting x sub 1 minus x sub L is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 multiplied by x upper minus x lower. Transposing x lower to the right to get the equation for x sub 1 Substituting negative to the right, it will become positive. So, it is plus x lower. And this is the equation to solve for x sub 1. x sub 1 is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 multiplied by x upper minus x lower plus x lower. So, we can use this now to solve for x sub 1 to solve for x sub 2 x sub 2 is equal to x lower plus l sub 2 where l sub 2 is equal to x upper minus x sub 1 by substituting the value for L sub 2, X sub 2 is equal to X lower plus X upper minus X sub 1. This formula is used to solve for X sub 2. X sub 2 is equal to X lower plus X upper minus X sub 1. Let's solve an equation using golden section method. For example, find the extremum of y equals 2 sine x minus x squared over 10. Not at least 8 iterations with initial value of 0 and 4. Kailangan natin mag-assign ng letter na magre-represent ng value ng bawat equation at formula. For x upper, x for x lower, y. For f of x upper, a. For f of x lower, b. For x sub 1, c. For x sub 2, d. For f of x sub 1, e. For f of x sub 2, f. For x sub 1 minus x lower, m. We have formula to get x sub 1 and x sub 2. For x sub 1, we have x square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 multiplied by x upper minus x lower plus x lower. And for x sub 2, we have x lower plus x upper minus x sub 1. For our example, we use a trigonometric. So we need to set our calculator to region. Shift menu. Then to angle. Then press 2 for region. Then we need to set our calculator to 5 decimal digit only. Shift menu, 3 number format, then 
press 1 for peaks and select 5 for 5 decimal value. So now, uh, calculator is set to is set so we can now start iteration. Let's input the equations and formula to the calculator. Then we can iterate. For f of x upper, alpha a is equal to 2 sine x minus x squared over 10. For f of x lower, alpha b is equal to 2 sine y minus y squared over 10. For x sub 1, we have a formula. Square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 multiplied by x upper minus x lower plus x lower. So we, we will input the ano, formula. x sub 1 is c, alpha c is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 all over 2 multiply by x upper which is x minus x lower which is y plus x lower which is y For x sub 2, alpha d is equal to, we have a formula for x sub 2, x lower plus x upper minus x sub 1. x lower is y, so alpha y plus x upper is x, alpha x minus x sub 1, which is c, minus c, alpha c. For f of x sub 1, alpha e is equal to 2 sine c minus c squared over 10. For f of x sub 2, alpha f is equal to 2 sine d minus d squared over 10. For x sub 1 minus x lower, alpha m is equal to x sub 1 is c minus x lower, which is y. With an initial value of 0 and 4, 4 is... 4 is the x upper and 0 is the x lower. We can now start iteration by putting the initial value to the calculator. x of value we have 4. For value of y we have 0 equals. For a we get negative 3.11360 equals for b we get 0 equals for c we get 
214 equals for D we get 1.52786 equals for E we get 0 0.62997 equals F we get 1.7672 and for M, we get 2.47214. In golden section method, we have cases for update. For case 1, if F of X sub 2 is greater than F of X sub 1, retain X lower and move X sub 1 to X upper and solve for the new x sub 2 for case 2 if f of x sub 1 is greater than f of x sub 2 retain x upper and move x sub 2 to x lower and solve for the new x sub 1 as you can see f of x sub 2 is greater than f of x sub 1 so we have to retain the value of x lower which is 0 and move x sub 1 to x upper 2.47214 and solve for the new x sub 2 equals alpha c equals 0 equals a we get 0 0.62997 for B 0 for C we get 1.52786 for D we have 0 0.94427 for E 1.76472 for F 1.53098 M we get 1.52786 so the F of X sub 1 is greater than F of X sub 2 so we use case 2 retain the X upper which is 2.47214 and move the x sub 2 to x lower which is 0 0.94427 equals retain the value of x y alpha d equals for a we get 0 0.62997 for B we get 1.53098 for C we get 1.88854 for D 1.52786 E 1.54322 for F, we get 1.76472. For M, we get 0 0.94427. As you can see, F of X sub 2 is, is greater than F of X sub 1. So we use case 1, which is X upper equals X sub 1. <coughs> equals retain the value of x lower which is 0 0.94427 and pour the value of x upper alpha c alpha c which is 1.88854 equals 
for A, we have 1.54322, B, 1.53098, C, 1.52786, D 1.30495 For E 1.76472 For F 1.75945 For M 0.58359 F of X sub 1 is greater than F of X sub 2 so the case is case 2 which is x lower equals x sub 2 so we have to retain the value of x upper which is 1.88854 then the value of y is alpha d which is 1.30495 equals for A 1.54322 for B 1.75945 for C we get 1.66563 for D 1.52786 for E, 1.71358 For F, 1.76472 For M, 0.36068 Now, F of X sub 2 is greater than F of X sub 1 So we have to use the case 1 Which is, case upper equals X upper equals X sub 1 we have to retain the value of the value of x lower write down 0.95 for value of x upper alpha c which is 1.66563 equals for a we get 1.71358 for B, 1.75945 For C, we get 1.52786 For D, we have 1.44272 For E, 1.76472 For F, we get 1.77547 for M, we have 0 0.22291. As you can see, F of X sub 2 is greater than F of X sub 1. We have to use case 1, which is X upper equals X sub 1. We have to retain the value of X lower, 1.30495. And the value of X upper is alpha C, which is 1.52786 equals alpha C equals for A, we get 1.76472 for B, we have 1.75945 for C, 1.44272 D 1.39010 for E 1.77547 for F 1.77420 for M 0.13777 Now the the F of X sub 1 is greater than F of X sub 2 so we have to use the case 2 which is x lower equals x sub 2 we have to retain the value of x upper which is 1.52786 
and the value of x lower is alpha d which is 1.39010 equals alpha d equals a we have 1.76472 for b 1.77420 C 1.47524 D 1.44272 E 1.77324 For F 1.77547 For M 0.08514 we have two ways to find the extremum or the roots of a of an equation. Uh, first, uh, you observe the value that we get for f of x sub one and f of x sub two. If you see that the value are nearest to each other, it means that uh, you get the root. So for this, 1.77324 and 1.77547 is very near. So we can say that 1.47524 and 1.44272 are our roots. Yung isang way pa na para makuha natin yung <laughs> extremum ay pwede tayong mag-assign ng ano ng stopping criterion na makikita natin yun sa x sub 1 minus x lower syempre ang nakita nyo naman na 0.08514 yung nakuha natin value so ibig sabihin na to masyadong ano ma mapapalapit na to sa ano sa sa zero Siyempre, ang required lang sa example ay 8 iteration. So, ang ginawa lang natin ay 8 iteration. Ito yung nakuha natin. The more na lumalapit siya sa, sa zero, mas tumatama yung root na nakuha natin. Kuya rin ito, 0.08. Kung magbibigay tayo ng stopping criteria na 0.001, siyempre yung makukuha nating root, eh, mas malang, kumbaga, mas malapit sa, sa katotohanan. Yeah. Thank you.